Alright, so before the video starts, I just want to let you know that I do have a Patreon. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested in seeing my full on cut reactions and the full length reactions, the link to my Patreon is in the description. And you'll also be able to see the reactions a few days or like a week early. So yeah, uh, if you're interested in that, the link is in the description. But as for now, let's get straight into the reaction. Alright, so welcome back to another reaction. Today we'll be going on to episode 5 of season 6 of Better Call Saul. And uh, yeah, I mean, going into this episode, as always, I'm so fucking excited, man. I mean, last episode was incredible. Again, a really good episode. Obviously, nowhere near the level of episode 3. Like, episode 3 is just on a whole new level of good. Like, that episode was so damn good. It was, it was pretty much perfection. That is by far the best episode of Better Call Saul. I generally think that, or, well, I don't think it's the best, but I think it's one of the best. And, and potentially one of the best scenes, the natural scene, throughout the entire of Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul is that damn good. Good. But yeah, last episode was so amazing, man. I loved all the stuff with Howard and Jimmy, man. That was so damn good. And yeah, obviously, last episode, the plan was for Cliff to obviously see, um, well, supposedly see Howard, like, driving recklessly and pushing out a prostitute, which he did see. And yeah, he thought it was Howard, because he had the, well, Howard's license plate. It was Howard's car. And uh, the little faint, I, well, I don't know even what you call it. It's a shadow of Howard. It did look like Howard. So obviously, yeah, Jimmy went to the effort of doing that amazing disguise, man. That was so damn good. And uh, yeah, obviously, in this episode or last episode, we saw the settlement, the like, Sandpiper case. And pretty much Cliff is just watching Howard because Howard wasn't, wasn't doing himself any favors. He was like really energetic and like bounce up his knee up and down and just really being outgoing. And obviously, yeah, that's a really great thing for a lawyer to be and obviously caring and enthusiastic. But to Cliff right now, that's just going to make him look like he is on drugs and he's like a loose cannon. So yeah, obviously to Cliff, that is going to look like he's obviously doing cocaine. He's dealing with prostitutes and he's driving recklessly. So Cliff is going to be thinking like, what the fuck, Howard? And uh, yeah, obviously Cliff actually confronted Howard. And yeah, Howard asked like, who was you meeting with? Like, who was you meeting with Cliff? And uh, Cliff said, I don't know why it's any of your concern, but I was meeting with, uh, what's it called, Kim Wexler, and, uh, yeah, what's it called, Howard's face is, like, lit up pretty much, and he was like, I know, yeah, Cliff, I do have a problem, but it's a Jimmy McGill problem, holy shit, man, that scene was so damn good, and obviously, yeah, from then on, we had all the stuff with Jimmy and Howard, and Howard, obviously, oh, what was it, it was Mr. Ward, obviously, Howard created, like, a pseudonym, Mr. Ward, and, like, a, a fake case for Jimmy, because obviously, it's, he said, like, it's, oh, yeah, I thought it was a Saul Goodman case, the type of case you would take, about someone getting shanked or something, obviously, yeah, that is a, a Saul Goodman case, yeah, Howard was really smart, and yeah, he set up for Mr. Ward in, like, a boxing place, and pretty much, I can't believe it, but Jimmy and Howard actually boxed, that was so damn good, oh my god, that scene was incredible, and yeah, Howard is actually, like, a, a fucking beast, well, obviously, he's not really a beast, but compared to Jimmy, Howard is actually really strong, and obviously, yeah, he said, um, you mistaken my kindness for weakness, so I think that's true, you know, I think Howard has the potential to bring up, well, no, he can't bring down Jimmy, but Howard is not to be messed around with, because obviously, we don't know the fate of Kim, so he, he could directly cause Kim's, like, down for or whatever it will be kim going to prison kim dying so much different variables but one thing i wanted to mention as well last episode is now howard has obviously hired a pi but remember uh, what mike said to kim like mike said to kim like uh yeah if you see my guys again just ignore them act like they're not there but now what if Howard's PI follows around Kim and Kim's just like, oh yeah, it's Mike's man. See, I won't pay any attention. But then the PI actually sees Kim doing something illegal and then maybe, I don't know, maybe something, uh, well, maybe the PI reports back to Howard and Kim gets arrested or sent away or something. Or maybe the PI will see something to do with like the Salamancas and the cartel. And yeah, the PI gets captured and they like interrogate him, like saying, who are you working for? And they say, Howard, if that, is that going to happen? Is Howard going to get involved with the cartel? Is he going to kill himself? Like, is he going to die from the cartel? Holy shit, man, so much questions. But yeah, the end of that episode was so damn good. Lalo in Germany. Like, what the fuck? Lalo was actually in Germany. I read so much theories that said, like, oh, yeah, Lalo's gonna go to Germany. He's gonna go to what's called uh, Zena Wiegler's, I can't say his name, Zena Weigler's, Wiegler, whatever, his wife. And uh, yeah, obviously, he has. And now he's taken something to do with uh, the lab. Like, a, it was like a ruler thing, but it's to do with the lab. And holy shit, man, that scene was so tense. I really thought he was gonna kill, uh, well, the wife and the dog, man. I was so, I was so worried for the dog, man. I really didn't want the dog to die. But yeah, I feel like going into this episode, we're gonna to see that guy, I think his name was Kai, obviously the German guy that was really boisterous and was a bit of a dickhead, and obviously like he said to Mike at the end, like, yeah, I know, you had to do what you did, and obviously Mike punched him, I think we'll see him again, I think Lalo is going to find uh, Kai, maybe kill him, maybe interrogate him, but he's going to get the truth about what they was doing in, uh, obviously, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and uh, yeah, Lalo is going to find out about the lab, and obviously Gus planted that gun, so Gus is going to shoot Lalo with that gun, and he's going to be buried in the lab, alright, that's going to happen, that's not the main theory, but I think that's the truth, I think Gus is gonna either Gus or Mike is gonna shoot Lalo with that gun that Gus planted, and uh, yeah, Lalo's gonna go to the lab thinking he's found something, and he will find something. They find the truth, but then he'll get shot by Gus, and yeah, all the tracks will get covered up, and obviously the events of Breaking Bad will transpire. So yeah, so yeah, I don't think there's anything else for me to say. I want to get straight into episodes. So, yeah, this is gonna be my reaction to Better Call Saul season six, episode six, and uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into this. Okay, so this episode is titled Axe and Grind. So yeah, maybe someone's getting an accident. 
the fucking face or something? Who knows, man? Are we back in Germany? No, we're in Los Podos Hermanos. Okay. Well, at least it looks like that. So, okay, never mind. This is a flashback. It's got to be. The color's different. Is this Kim? I think it's Kim. Interesting. We haven't seen a flashback of Kim in a while. But obviously, last time we saw her, she was walking home by herself. Here she is. Oh, my God. There's Kimmy. a lot to Kim that we don't know. Really? What is going on with you? That influence is breaking my She's never done anything like this before. Never. She's a straight-A student. She's always got her nose in a book. Protecting her from the consequences of her wow. own actions. I do have some discretion here. Uh, that casting is really good. That actually looks like Kim. Concerns we just like don't her see mother, I mean, over yeah. and over. So if you can promise oh me that this was a one-time thing. Well, Kim, you heard Mr. Pearson. Are you going to do it again? No. I'd like to believe that. I can I can give you thirteen dollars right now, and we'll come back with the rest. Ma'am, really, it's fine. You've been very very kind. Oh my God! What if this is all a scheme? Well, Kim, what do we say? What if this is her mother's plan? Thank you. And she's doing it. Kim's doing it for her mom. Is that what's happening? I think Kim's mom. Might have been a master mastermind behind this, and actually got a fine mother there. orchestrate all that. You don't want to disappoint her again. I swear to God, I think that she's tricked this being so this guy though. here. It's my pleasure. Oh my God, she has, hasn't she? Nice block. That was on purpose. That was all planned. Nice work. She's gonna say some shit. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Nip it in the butt. <laughs> yeah. That explains so much about why Kim. Like all the slipping Jimmy stuff and all the slipping Kimmy. I didn't know you had it in you. Like, holy shit. I think we have heard before that like, Kim's Here. mother was like a con Can artist or something. something. Obviously, yeah, we just See? saw that. Your mom's good for something, huh? Hey, get out, relax. Oh. You got away with it. Don't you That's the thing in her ears that she still wears today. Nebraska. So, oh my god, it's so interesting. There's so much of Kim in these upcoming episodes. Nebraska. I swear it's the same place that like Nebraska, Omaha Bun. I saw a crazy ass theory that Kim is actually still alive under a pseudonym of like some fucking woman, I don't know if that's true, who is in Nebraska. I hope I don't spoil that for myself, but if that is true, I don't know. Holy shit though, I'm so excited. That explains so much, like at first I was like, holy shit. But then as it slowly progressed, I was like, is Kim's mom behind this? Obviously, yeah, she was. Oh shit, is this the, uh, the office? Is that Howard? Nah, it's Jimmy. <laughs> I don't want it, Howard. Definitely Howard. Definitely not Jimmy. Off the tree. Yeah, I mean, you can say what you want about Howard, but he does have a nice house, doesn't he? <laughs> My god, it's really, really nice. Interesting, though, we're getting like a little morning routine for Howard. His coffee, his clothes, his car. <laughs> this is so strange, man. I'm all for it, though. We're seeing how Howard lives, aren't we? Oh, we can see Howard's family as well. His wife and his kids. Obviously, that has been mentioned before. Oh, that coffee was for her. That's wow. True. Howard is actually really good at making coffees. My God. Oh, my God. She's not even the drink it. We should talk about the Abramson fundraiser. Never mind. Wow, he well, did all that presentation. It's Friday. And then she just tips it away like that. Can't believe it's been a whole year. How do you want to handle it? <laughs> I couldn't get a good angle through the window, but I counted four, maybe five stacks. I'd say somewhere in the ballpark of 20 grand. <laughs> Damn. It's a lot I'm of money. A lawyer. But is there any reason he'd need that much cash in the normal course of business? Yeah, exactly. Shit, what they found here. Could it be no the legitimate reason? Could it be as simple as the renovations of the office? I don't know, though. I don't know. Shit, Howard's found something there. 
that's not going to be good. But what could it be? 20 grand. What does Jimmy need 20 grand for? Think about it, really. The only thing that I can really think about is the office, but... Yeah, he wouldn't need to take out money, like, in cash would he, so... What's it going to feel like? <sighs> Depends on how used to caffeine you are. What are they doing? Balls, but it's going to feel like, you know, two Red Bulls on an empty stomach. And how long is it going to last? Is a guy roughly your size? Yeah. Hour or two. And if there's a blood test? This stuff is not showing up on any blood panel they're running in this town. So it won't show up on <sighs> any blood test. So whether they're doing it, to be they're getting it into the blood of this. Jimmy. Well, what could that you be? Know, 20 grand, though. Makes sense. More depressed than lawyers. Leaving town. Oh, wow. Once I sell my little black book, it's going to be all animals all the time. Black book? Yeah, keys to the kingdom. Yeah, you, know, you call me up. You're looking for a someone. Oh. Keep all my someones in here. That's how... That's how they get Ed the Disappearer. Holy shit. That's how Jimmy knows about Ed the Disappearer. Because he gets this book with all different contacts. Oh. All right, yeah. I think we, uh, oh my we God. found the Zodiac Killer. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. I'm not keeping my contacts in plain That's going to be the, the what's called disappear thing. Yes, it is. Oh, my oh, God. Vacuum. Holy shit. Yeah, that is so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, what? I... <laughs> what? I don't like dilating his pupils and he's going to dress up as Howard again. Whoa. Oh, my God. That makes him look like Howard. But how, like, if he goes to the court or somewhat, somewhere, they're easily going to see that it's not Howard. Although it does look like Howard. So, what's that? What's, he, what's Jimmy planning about? What's he planning? My God. How does this pass the smell test? Yeah, Kim's going to have to cover up her track soon with Cliff. So good, man. Oh, my God. Yes. They've already renovated. That's amazing. This is so damn good. Oh. Come on. Hey, wow, it's good to see that you. is too. Jimmy was so, uh, very different. When Holy shit! For him again. That's all Francesca's <laughs> like idea, well, obviously. <laughs> there, there's still interesting. I'll stop pausing oh, okay. as well instead of just talking God, over the dialogue. Look. Oh, it's that, definitely embedded. that definitely it's, changes. It's, it's my God. Thanks. I don't know if you oh saw my God. it before, what, but it's what changes then? Way. What happens? That oh yeah. Trust me, hasn't even started yet. Everything has been repainted. So interesting, man. These scenes are so damn interesting. Like, that office looks so damn good. Mm. Why does it look so shit and breaking bad? What is going on? All right. Let's try this one. Just trim it a little bit and put wax on the ends. Yes, that one. Trimmed and waxed. Wow. Kim is always the one initiating it and, like, choosing okay, stuff. Okay. She's chosen so, so much stuff. Like, the office. Let's keep this Jimmy's, going. Jimmy's, like, um... What was it? Ten I'll fight for you or something like that. I can't remember it, but what's it called? Kim is doing everything, all the schemes, literally everything. Yeah, aren't I? So what? That's you don't have to be there on the day. Was Eisenhower on Omaha? D day. No. Oh god, what's that gonna be, Kim, Jimmy? This is great, Jimmy and Kim. Right? What is D day? It's huge. <laughs> it is pretty great. <laughs> Kim, this is fantastic. <laughs> I love this man, but it's so sad because obviously this is not going to last, is it? Something bad's going to happen. I'm loving it so far, man. So damn good. All right, and who the hell is this guy then? Turn up wood, mate. What are you doing? <laughs> Chopping up some, some lovely wood. But yeah, who are you? My guy is good at that, not going to lie. But yeah, who could this be? This seems very different. Who's it going to be? Oh, wait. Is this in Germany? Holy shit, is that Lalo? Yeah, it's Lalo. Oh, my God. I don't recognize that guy from Albuquerque, though. speak any German. Are you lost? It's a beautiful place you have here. The air is just so... That guy wasn't in the, the group of people that was working on the lab, so... Who the hell is he? Do I know you? Imagine. Oh wait, 
I don't know, you know. I don't recognize him, but he could have been. Officially met. I don't think so. I really don't. Well, lol, mate, if you shoot him, you won't get any answers. But I don't think this guy was there. I might be completely wrong here, you know, but I don't recognize him. I don't know why. The thing is, Lalo could actually die here. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I highly doubt that he will die. But think about it. Lalo could die at any given point. So imagine he just gets wiped out in Germany. That would be so fucking evil. It would be such a twist that literally no one uh, could have ever expected. Just Lalo randomly dying in a fucking barn in Germany somewhere. And that is so random. Oh, wait. Axe and grind. Shit, that guy had an axe. Ooh. Yeah, that's interesting. That is really interesting. And also, this guy is a fucking ninja. He's just completely... Com quiet. He's completely quiet and... <laughs> oh. Who are you? Oh. Oh, my God. Salamanca. I'm not here for you. This is about Fring. Oh, I want to know. I want to know what he's doing. How did you find me? Margaret. Margaret, see. What have you done to her? Nothing, nothing. You sent her a gift. Oh, okay. That's how we found the sky. Right. Oh, it was that little thing. Yeah, of course. Oh, oh! Oh my fucking god! Carajo! I think you broke one of my ribs! Bro, oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god. This guy should have just kill Lala when he had the chance. Fucking hell, of course some some shit like that was gonna happen. It's fucking Lala Salamanca, mate. Oh my god. Axe and grind. Yeah, it's grinding on his bloody leg. You know what? I fancy going back on that. Trying to see if there's any little details. Okay. Thank you for interesting the officers of Saul Goodman and associates with your legal needs. As your counsel, I, Saul Goodman, uh, letter, blah, 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 uh, will be billed at the hourly rate of $150. Damn. Uh, billable legal work, uh, blah, blah, blah. Now, I was just seeing if there's any, like, hidden stuff there, because, yeah, it is Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould, so you never know, really, with this show, do you? Or maybe I've been watching too much of The Expanse, like, pause and shit, and reading and trying to figure stuff out. But yeah, these are definitely interesting clients, that's for sure. Yeah, this, uh, this type of office is definitely not suit these types of clients, Francesca. So, you had good intentions, but... Yeah, this isn't gonna. St oh, oh my God! The last thing you want is to look like you're some kind of loner. That guy's an absolute dickhead. You, Why would you put a cigarette on the couch? My God! Better. I mean, if Grant. Here we go. The phone's ready. Oh my God! I love this fucking show, man. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. <laughs> so good. I don't know if I'm comfortable. Is this even legal? I'm sorry. We're not going to make a habit of, of this. Of course not. Right? Absolutely. No, no, no. Here. Trust me, Francesca. Ready. It will become a habit. You'll be working with Saul for yeah, years to come. Uh, uh, hi. Um, there. I, I'm calling because my, oh. my mother is, is... Well, I guess she's a... She's doing the phone calls again like she did with Hank in Breaking Bad. Piper assisted God's sake, man. Sam Piper, of course. Let me transfer you. What's Just the plan here? Good afternoon. Uh, yes, my mother's out of the facility in Amarillo. Says she's supposed to call into some. Press seven and then enter the passcode. I can give that to you now. Do you have a pen? Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah, god! I'm ready. This okay. is amazing. Eight four two one five nine. Eight four two one five nine. That's right. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Of course. Take care. <laughs>
Slipping Jimmy and oh, Slipping oh. Francis. I can't say a name. Francesca. I can never say a name, but Slipping Jimmy and Slipping Francesca. And that is very. Uh... What? Whoa, 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 stop! No, wait! Don't turn around! Finish what you're doing! Yeah, yeah. Oh my Finish god, what are you doing, mate? Where are you going? Clean up on aisle nine! <laughs> no! Yeah, she is not cleaning that shit up, Jimmy. Piss off, mate. Oh, what are you doing, mate? Oh, you fucking don't. Oh. Donut, mate. You are a donut. You know that, mate? Donut. I can't have. I was saying dumbass, and I said donut, so I just kind of fucked up my word, but. What am I even saying? <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. Alright. But yeah, the lab, of course, the lab, man. Obviously, yeah, the gun is planted down there. Laru is going to go to the lab, and I feel like he's going to get shot down in the lab, so. Yeah, it's really interesting, man. I keep saying it's really interesting, but it is. It's so fucking good. I love the show, man. But I'm not sure. I think next episode is actually uh, the break. Because obviously, uh, this season is split into two parts. I don't see premieres in two parts. So, I don't know if it's this episode or next episode where well, the split happens. So, Boss has a problem. He knows how to reach me. If you have a problem, I'm right here. <laughs> oh. Try something, Tyrese, you little bastard. Go on. Yeah, that's what I thought, mate. Get out of here. But is that the street that... Yeah, okay, Almeida Street. What street is this? Is this Jimmy's... No, it can't be. So what is Almeida Street? Who lives on Almeida Street? And why is the people watching on Almeida Street? What is this all about? Maybe it's Kaylee? Who knows? That, no, that wouldn't make any sense. Why would Kaylee be here? That wouldn't... No. Because how, how would Lalo even know about Kaylee? Although, I guess the Salamanca twins did know about Kaylee. And, uh... I can't remember her mother's name. Kaylee's obviously the grand daughter, but... Who's the actual mother? I can't remember, to be honest, but... Yeah, obviously, Mike's son's wife and his kid. That's what, who I'm thinking of, but... It can't be. That, make, that does not make any sense. So, who... Hey, honey. There it is. It is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Want another star clone? Hey, hey, hey. You do what your mother says. The stars will still be in the sky tomorrow night. I promise. Okay. Good night, Pop Pop. Love you. So what sad for Mike, baby? man. Mike oh, for keeps falling down this void of bullshit with Gus and the cartel. Oh, and he's just losing himself oh, bit by it's... bit. Fine. I'm uh... sad as well knowing what happens. Going to have to stay fucking here Mike. Than I oh, man. That is so sad. That is so fucking sad. Especially how, like, what? No, especially knowing what happens to Mike at the end of Breaking Bad. He literally just disappears from Kaylee's life, from everybody's life, or Kaylee, and I don't know what her mother's called, the woman that was to speak, I don't know her name, I did know before, but obviously Kaylee and her mother, Mike just completely disappears, just dies, but they don't even know that he's dead, so obviously yeah, they just keep on living without ever knowing what actually happened to Mike, to their pops, like, yeah, that is so messed up, man, that is, oh, Mike's character is so tragic, man, so fucking sad, but... Yeah, I guess you could say that about... Well, especially you could say that about Saul as well. All the shit that happens. But yeah, there's so much symbolism on that bloody board. Like, all the post-it notes. All of the stuff means something. I wonder if anyone was like, paused it and, like, anal analysis did it? No, analyzed it, sorry. We didn't miss anything. I wonder. But this is D-Day. This is fucking D-Day. What is D-Day? It's obviously a massive plan. Okay, um... Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, that is the drugs, uh, obviously, out of Howard's locker. Kettleman. Uh, what was that? What's that thing there? Uh, okay, that's obviously the eye thing that we just saw. Tennis? No. Camera. Law office. Oh, this is confusing. T1. What the hell is T1? Um... Makeup, face, putty, BPM, double, uh, timing, delivery, personal. 
I don't know really, but obviously, yeah, that I think is the thing we just saw. And obviously, at the start, that was the packet. But just think about what happened in order. We had the, the prostitute um, speeding. But I don't know what that could be. A camera. Maybe a picture. Maybe it's that guy we just saw. The guy who was trying... Well, they was getting the guy to look like the... Um, I don't know what it's like, a judge or something. A, a judge, um, that guy. But the eyes thing, like, what's the eye? We saw Jimmy's eye, but what's that for? What is T1? What the fuck is T1? D-Day, and obviously an explosion. But D-Day is coming. Will it be this episode? I don't think so, because there's only five minutes left. So, will it be next episode? Who knows, man. That is very interesting. I'm going back ten seconds. But yeah, there's so much. I feel like after this season is over, after Better Call Saul finishes, I say that, man, but I, it's be so sad when it's done. But after this show finishes, that ball doesn't mean so much when you go back and look at it. You'll be like, oh, shit, of course. That's what it meant. That's, what, that's why I'm trying to pay attention to it. See, they they know Gee, like let's go out. they're planning it properly. Like, what is it? Out where? All right. Well, the PI is following you, mate. So, be on the lookout. They're going for a little picnic, are they? Ah, it's nice and lovely. That is. Have a little glass of wine by uh, by the beach, or just where the fuck you are. Nice. Yeah, just chill out. Looks lovely to me. Obviously, this is not going to go well. Either the episode's going to end with them saying something or something bad's going to happen. Or maybe I'm just overthinking everything. <laughs> but it is better call Saul, man. Like, come on. To tomorrow. Tomorrow? Ah, oh, shit. Tomorrow. I really hope this isn't the mid-season break. What's in there? Or cleaner, but... Omaha... Oh. Okay. Something's happening tomorrow in there. No, nah, please don't end the episode there. Oh, shit. We're gonna oh, my God. Next episode is going to be so damn good. Victory in Santa Fe. Victory in Albuquerque. That sounds good. Oh, no. It's going to end here. Okay, I'll record the whole show. We can listen to it later. Please don't say anything bad's going to happen to Kim. Please don't say anything bad's going to happen. What is going to happen? Next episode is going to be crazy. I already know it. What is gonna happen, man? Oh my god! I'm sorry. I don't think we have it. Surprise, he said. Ah, for the bottle. Okay. Worth every penny. Oh, <laughs> yeah, definitely. I was gonna let you know about the stopper here. It's pretty sharp. Thanks. I'll be careful. All right. Uh, what was it? Drinking in good health. Giselle and uh, ah, oh, Giselle and shit. I always forget uh, what's called Jimmy's name for it, but it was Giselle and something. Obviously, that scheme they ran on that dickhead. Holy shit, though. Oh no, he's broke his arm! That's fucked up the plan because they didn't know! Oh no, how's this gonna affect things? It's gonna go horribly now. They've blown something, they've blown something. Maybe they took a photo with his arm intact and now it's gonna look like. Ultimately, it's about equal justice. Oh, no. What's happened to Kim, man? Oh, it's the end of the episode here in a minute, isn't it? It's a fucking show. It's too good. What is more important than that? Oh, no. This can't be good. Hey, Jimmy. Flag on the play. Uh, you're not going to believe this, but I just ran into Casemiro, the real one. Oh, God. Yeah. And Before you ask, he didn't shave his mustache. He broke his arm. Are you serious? The guy has a giant cast on his left arm. And I just checked all the pictures, and you can see his arm in every single one of them. No cast. Clear as day. Shit. Shit. I know. I know. Fuck. But, but, hey, hey, hey. Look at it this way. If, if I hadn't seen him, I mean, that really, that really could have sunk us, right? So. Well, what are you going to do now? You can't just read the photos, like, right now. What other day? Okay, we'll figure it out. I promise. Okay? Just go. Just do your thing in Santa Fe, and we'll regroup when you get home tonight. Tim? Tim, are you still there? Yes. See, it's what I mean now. Did what if what Kim does something and gets core, and obviously Jimmy hasn't done his thing? It happens today.
Oh. No, it's the end of the episode there, isn't it? No. No. Next episode is going to be crazy, man. There better not be like a one. I don't know how long the gap's going to be. There better not be a gap now. Because I have a feeling next episode is going to be absolutely crazy. Oh my god. It happens today. What happens today? What happens tomorrow? Or today? But next episode. <laughs> oh man, that was such a great episode. Really heavy drummer action. My god, that was so damn good.